Hello everyone, this is Amit. Welcome to another Notepad++ Tips and Tricks. In this video, we are going to learn how you can use Markdown in Notepad++. We'll also learn how you can enable syntax highlighting in Markdown language in Notepad++. And we'll also learn how you can preview Markdown document uh, right from Notepad++ using a plugin. But before we begin, what exactly is Markdown? Well, Markdown is a very lightweight markup language, similar to HTML, but it makes it much easier to write those, uh, those formatting elements because it, it is written in a, in a basic plain text document. And we'll spend a little bit of time in learning those a little later. By the way, Markdown is by far the most popular markup languages in the world and most online forums and the repository and so on like GitHub supports Markdown language. Now what are the advantages of Markdown? The very first is it's very easy to use. Uh, you just need to remember just few of those uh, special formatting to create a Markdown uh, document. And since it is a plain text file, it is extremely portable you can easily share with others. And it is also extremely lightweight. I mean, there's nothing simpler than a plain text document. It is completely free and it will be free in future as well. And it is also future proof. Uh, you can easily use this markdown file to convert it into different document formats. For example, there are tools out there which can convert your Markdown file into a PDF document or a Word document or any other document format. And so there are literally numerous uh, advantages of using Markdown. Now, how can I create a Markdown document in Notepad++? So let's start. We'll create a new document. And I'm going to save this as a Markdown file. And usually the, the, the extension is .md or sometimes it's markdown or mdown, but usually the most common is md, test.md. So let's create this just an example. Oh, sorry, I need to save it. I click say open. So file, save as, and I'm going to say test.md. All right, so the very first, if you want to create a heading, you can click on the hash sign and then that is your heading one. If you want to create a multiple heading, you can do, or he heading two, you can do heading two and so on. Uh, you can also create a, a very simple list, let's say unordered list by simply just putting a hyphen. So item one, item two and item three. If you want an order list, you need to just put a number. So a numbered list, numbered list two and so on. And if you want to put a link and image, you can do the same thing also. If you want to just create a uh, uh, just a horizontal line, you can just have three dots or three hyphens and it should create uh, the markdown uh, horizontal line. In fact, I have a, a cheat sheet which I'm going to just open and we can take a, take a look at it. So here is again, there is a heading one, we have heading two, we have heading three and onwards. If you want to make the, the text bold, you just need to put under two asterisk. If you want just the text to be ita uh, italic, you just need a one asterisk. And if you want to put a, let's say, a, some kind of a quote, you can just do a greater than sign and that will make, become your block quote. And as I mentioned, you can create an ordered list like this, an unordered list like this. Uh, let's say if your document has some kind of a code, uh, you can put it into this this uh, special, uh, I don't know what you call it, but it is right next to one. 
uh, and that would these uh, put put your code and between these two. We also saw how you can put a horizontal line, and in order to put a link, all you have to do is put the anchor text here, and then the link that it should point to, and then this is for the image. Now, so far we haven't actually seen how the markdown document actually looks like right and that's where the fun begins and so let's go ahead and install a markdown uh, preview plugin and then we will be able to actually work right side by side and so in order to install any plugin you need to go to plugins and plugins admin uh, if you don't have plugin admins in, in the list, then probably you may be using an older version of Notepad++ and you may have to update it. But in our case, uh, we just need to search for Markdown and it gives me two uh, results. Uh, you can try this one also, but the one that we are interested is this one, Markdown Viewer. When I click on it, it actually gives me uh, some description about it. And it says that it can actually render a markdown file on the fly right from Notepad++. So that's what I want. In fact, there is a website that you can go and actually read more about it. But let's go ahead and select this. And I'm going to click Install. And it is going to restart that uh, uh, Notepad++. And it will install uh, uh, this new plugin. So I'm going to say yes. And it should pop up right away. Yep. And actually, if you go to plugins, you will see Markdown Viewer right here. Now you can click on the very first item and it will create this docked panel on the right hand side, which basically renders whatever I'm writing in the Markdown file. There is also a toolbar icon right here, as you can see M a little bit, and that also can enable or disable this uh, preview. So if I click on this, it'll go away, and I can preview on and off. So let's go back to our test.md that we just created, and let's see how it looks. So I'm going to click on this, and as you can see that it, it nicely put our markdown file into heading one, heading two, you know, uh, unordered list, ordered list, and so on, even the horizontal line. And let's open this cheat sheet. And as you can see, it is able to parse or render all of these, uh, all of these uh, formatting elements uh, in a nice way. And so that's actually about it. You can actually preview any Markdown file uh, using this Markdown Viewer. Now, once you, once you created this document and if you would like to save it uh, in, as an HTML, it also allows you to export this document as an HTML file or even a PDF file. So let's just create an HTML file and it'll just ask you what it's the name of HTML file. I said uh, this one and I'll go and open that. And so this is my HTML file that I just created from the markdown file. All right. Now, one thing you might notice in the markdown file is that there is a syntax highlighting. So how does it, or how does Notepad++ know this syntax highlighting for mark, Markdown language? Well, if you go to Languages menu, and if you scroll down all the way at, at, at down, it's basically called a user-defined language. And there is an option uh, for Markdown. And so when you save a document as .md file, it is able to identify this as a markdown document and it is able to give us a syntax highlighting. Now for any reason, if you don't see the syntax highlighting for markdown, you can go to languages and make sure that this is checked or this is selected. And, and it sh you should be able to see these colors or the syntax highlighting 
for the markdown file. So again, you can easily preview them using a markdown viewer right from here. Uh, and then you can disable it as well. And so today we learned how you can just enable the syntax highlighting for markdown. And we also learned how you can easily preview that in Notepad++. So if you guys made it this far, I hope you like this video. So please subscribe to my channel uh, to get more videos like that. And if you like, please click a like button or just add any comments. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.